So what's up, my beautiful people? Excuse the mess. I gotta clean up this mess right here. I'm a messy cook. It was clean before I started, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make the flavor. I guess we're gonna say royal Cajun corn instead of fried corn, cause I don't really know what the name is. I just made it up, and I feel like I feel like it was doing it, just doing the thing. Anyway, um, yeah. Here's my corn and some water. And I, I buy, I've been using a lot of this lately for everything. It's crawfish, it's um, crawfish, crab, and shrimp boil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this, the rest of it, and just put it in there. Because that's all I have left, and I'm just going to use it. And I've been noticing, I've been buying this. Once I run out, I'll buy it again, because I use it. The boil a lot of stuff with a lot of stuff. Anyway, we're gonna talk about this. So I got a little bit of crab boil in there. I usually have a little more, but that's all I had. You ain't got no more vegetable oil. If you do, I don't know where you put it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of um pecorica. I like putting um some um what is it called? Yeah, use it. So I got some Obey. No, if you have Obey, use it. I have no more. So I'm going to use this Cajun seasoning. And you just sprinkle a little bit of that on there. You can put some pepper on there. But you know what? I'm out of pepper too. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm out of a lot of stuff. And I'm going to put a little lemon pepper on there in there too. And this is just the boil. Just boiling. my um corn in I'm gonna use some parsley and don't forget I'm on the phone okay so I'm back I'm gonna put some parsley steak seasoning because the reason why I'm using steak seasoning because I don't have any pepper I like pepper so I don't have pepper I'm gonna use some steak seasoning because it has some pepper in there And I'm one of them, so I'm putting a little taco season, just a little bit. Onion powder and garlic powder. All I have is onion, so I'm going to use onion. And I'm going to put some Worcestershire sauce in there just a little bit. Alright, so this is what the it's looking like. If you want to, um, what you do is add a little bit more of this. This is going to, I'm on the phone. This is going to flavor your corn. Well, you don't even have to add salt or butter. And now I'm going to put a half a stick of butter. You can put a whole stick of butter. You can put a little bit of butter. I'm only going to put a half a stick of butter because I'm running out of butter. And butter is expensive. So, be back. And this is the rest of the butter that I had. That I have new butter, but I didn't want to open it. So, I had a little bit of butter. It's probably not even half a stick. First time I did this, I put a half a stick of butter in here. And when I tell you, it was flavored, it was seasoned, it was good, it was good. And I need to put a little um, chicken broth. Last time I put chicken broth, this time I'm going to put chicken broth with tomato. Add some of this in there. And then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cook. Simmer. You don't have to add no more butter and no more salt. If you want to, when the lunch is done, you can add some more butter and a little Cajun season on top of that. I'm out of slap your mama and all that other stuff. So this is what I have. So it's a little different from the first time I made it, but the first time I made it, it was so good I didn't eat anything. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. And plus, I haven't made a video in a long time, and I've been cooking and I've been forgetting to share it. So I'm gonna share this. I put a couple of bay leaves that you can see, peppercorn, and I'm going to put some jalapeno. I didn't do this last time. I'm just going to put a little jalapeno in there. And here's the bay leaf I used. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it. If I need to add a little more butter, I will, but I don't think I need to add no more butter. I'm going to put this top on it. I'm going to let that cook. I have my pork steaks in the oven already seasoned. 
And since I'm already on here doing a quick video on season or Cajun corn. I don't know what kind of corn this is, but it was so good the last time. I said I got to show them how I do it. And this is, um, this right here was supposed to be red beans and rice, but my red beans was old. So I made black eyed peas. So since I cut up all my stuff for my red beans, like my sausage, I didn't do my hamburger meat because why? There's no reason to. But I already have my, um, my, my Xanarax Cajun sausage cut up. So I put that in there. Bell peppers, onion, garlic, seasonings. And that's what that's looking like. That's my black eyed peas. And plus, I didn't have any black eyed peas for this year. So that'd be perfect because we'll have you for the month is over with. But anyway, I need in the cabinet. Got a little Worcester sauce in there. So that's what that's looking like boiling. My steak is in the oven. And I'll be back to show you my corn when it's done. See you later. All right, my beautiful people. This is what my corn is looking like in the pot you see how the rich and red and seasoned the water is looking like now i'm going to show you in the bowl when i plate my plate when i make my plate but look how that's looking yes sir hey good morning good evening good afternoon my beautiful people what's up so i want to show you this corn i made i discovered this a while back but i never shared it Boil your corn with the um, crab mix, crab boil, seafood boil. Just put a dab in your water. I tell you, give it so much flavor. It does. The first time I did, it, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of good. I could taste a little hint of something, something. And I start adding more and more to it: bay leaves, pepper seeds, seasonings, smoked paprika, um. All kind of stuff. Um, but what else? Obey. I didn't have any obey, so I did some different stuff. But I had obey the first time I did it, and it was so good with some a fresh slice of butter that I slivered on top. I did the same thing this time, but it kind of it kind of melted in there, and then I put the Cajun season on top, and it just it, it was so good. I said I gotta I gotta share this. Because i never seen nobody do it. So I just. I had to do it for y'all. It's kind of hot. Just let me take a bite. And I got some pork steaks. Cornbread. Black eyed peas. And rice. And the reason why the black eyed peas look like this. Because I was planning on making black eyed peas. No I was planning on making red beans and rice. But my red beans were old. And since I already cut up my sausage. I didn't do everything else. It's like a mixture of black eyed peas and red beans and rice. I said, I'm going to put it together. We're going to learn today. And that's what I did. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. This corn bomb. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. This corn is everything. See the juice in there? Oh. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Instead of just boiling your corn, you guys. Try it like I showed you. If you don't have everything I have, that's okay. Improvise. Mm, mm -mm. It's good. You eat it just like that. You don't need nothing else to it. These black eyed peas that's mixed with like a little red bean. It's black eyed peas, but the way I cooked it was for red beans mixed with black eyed peas. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. These do not taste like a black eyed peas or don't. But it is good. It's so good. Let me taste this cornbread that Treasure made from scratch. Mmm. She made like a... Mmm. 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 
Thank you. Oh my God. Mmm. Treasure! I taste cinnamon. I taste butter. I taste sugar. I try to put some honey and sugar on it. But I taste cinnamon. Oh, that's good. That is good. That's really good. Spark treasure! This cornbread good? What you put in it? Mmm. Mm-mm. What you put in this cornbread? It's, it's cornbread good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Take your, your babies out, people. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Treasure! Oh my god. Treasure made the cornbread for me. And it writes, I made everything else. Spark treasure! Treasure! Hey, treasure, what you put in this cornbread? It's good. I taste, I think, nutmeg. I taste cinnamon. I taste butter. I taste honey. I taste all kind of stuff. I don't know what she did. She made it from scratch. It didn't come from Jiffy Box. All I had was cornmeal. I told her, to, and I said, treasure, do what you do. I said, pretty much follow the instructions on the box of the cornmeal and add to it. I told her what to add, and she did, and she did a good job because it's so good. It don't look, it don't really look that good. Oh, but it's good. It is really good. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. Mm, mm, mm. My beans had, I didn't have any salary. I used to put salary in my, I didn't have any salary. Mmm, that cornbread good. That's really good, y'all. But I've had some, some sausage, some Cajun sausage, some Zanarang sausage, the kind of sausage you put in gumbo. What is it called? Because that's what I was going to bake my red beans and rice with, but my red beans was no good, like I said, once before. So I made black eyed peas like I would make red beans and rice, and they so good. They're, they're a different flavor. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. My pork steak like that pack with fire. Mm. Anyway. I came on here for the can of, for the corn corn cob. Mm. <coughs> oh wow. Mm, mm, mm. It was supposed to be a two, three minute video. It was supposed to be up a corn. Just mm -mm -mm. good.
Wow. Mm-mm. That's good here from sausage. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Damn, that's good. Okay, y'all. I got four. I can't eat like I used to, y'all. I make these big ass plates. And what I do. I end up giving it to my son Golden. When I tell you this is good, that cornbread was amazing. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm. This wasn't even supposed to be 10 minutes. Mm -mm. Until next time. <laughs> this is stay by. Mm mm mm. Mm -mm -mm. I can't eat this. Man, I'm about to put it up. Put it in the refrigerator. So when I'm warm up tomorrow, I'm already there. That's if Golden don't be with too. Because I put a lot of stuff in the refrigerator, you guys. I'm putting the foil, surround wrap, in a Walmart bag, in a plate, whatever. Tied up, put in the refrigerator, and Golden will come on too and demolish whatever he see. Oh. Deuces and stay blessed, my beautiful people. Who that was good. That cornbread was good, too. It was good from scratch, y'all. It was good. She did her thing from that. And I think this is our first time making corn from, cornbread from scratch. I did nothing. I just direct traffic, and she did it, and it was good. Yes, Lord. <laughs>